Hey, how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Let me ask you a question. How many times did you watch the original Ben 10 series or Ben 10 Alien Force or Ben 10 Ultimate Alien on your parents' TV? How many times did you burn up the DVD player re-watching the show over and over again because it had such a massive emotional effect on you? Because, same. Now when I was a young lad, I loved everything, from Batman to fucking Transformers, but one of the shows that shaped my childhood was Ben 10, and I think there's a reason behind it. I don't really remember how I got into Ben 10, but I remember that, much like Young Justice and hell, even Dragon Ball, I had an emotional connection to these characters. While being a show that focused on aliens and action, it still had its moments that it talked about serious topics like depression and self-doubt. Now I've been putting off this video because of a number of reasons, but the main one being because I know I'm gonna get people smashing the keys on the keyboard telling me that I'm making this video out of nostalgia, out of memories of the past, but I'm making this video to tell you why I love this show and why it even holds up today. Yes, it was a part of my childhood and yes, I have nostalgia for it, but I'm making this video because I'm genuinely in love with it. It is my favorite. Now back to a regularly scheduled video, let me tell you something, I fucking love animation. I love the stories you can tell about the characters and the emotions you can make the characters feel, and in turn make the audience feel. In animation, there is no limit to what you can do, so much to my fucking 8 year old brain, when I saw Ben 10 turn into fucking aliens with just a slap of the wrist, I was all in. It's hard to talk about your favorite thing, favorite video game, movie, anime, because it's difficult to put into words why it's your favorite. I could talk about the amazing plot and the pretty great writing from these lovely people. I could talk about the fucking banger theme song that I listen to on a daily basis. There isn't just one reason why it's my favorite. These are all the reasons why it is. They all play their part and make a great show. The show focuses on Ben Tennyson, a 10 year old kid who gets a piece of alien technology stuck to his arm that can turn him into aliens. It follows Ben, his cousin Gwen, and their grandpa Max as they travel together, saving the world from Vilgax. After a couple of redesigns of the Omnitrix, Ben saves the world a lot, and after a while, he wants a normal life. In a way, Ben reminds me of Spider-Man. Both were given extraordinary powers, both weren't popular at school, both were bullied for being themselves. Now keep in mind, this isn't a character study or a comparison, I just think that both of these genuinely good characters have the power to bully people back, but they don't. And I think that's pretty moving. Pause. Can we take a fucking break from this goddamn sappy music real quick? Um, you sure about that pause? Yes, I'm sure. Now do it. Alright guys, you're gonna cut the music. Can we talk for a minute about what the hell they did to my boy Ben 10? He went from a kid, to teenager, to older teenager, I guess, and then back to a kid. Look what they did. Look. Do you see what they have done? They took this wonderful, amazing, goddamn masterpiece of a show and turned it into this. No. No. No! Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Anyway, you're good to turn everything back on now. You heard that, boys. Turn everything on. Jokes aside, this show was my childhood and I loved every goddamn minute of it. Rewatching it for this video was amazing. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. It's pretty fucking cool. You thought I was done? Oh no, my friends, we're just getting fucking started. Let's talk about some goddamn character arcs. In this show, many of the characters grow up throughout the series. Ben goes from a kid who saves people because he thinks it's cool to a teenager that saves people because he knows it's the right thing to do. Gwen goes from an annoying side character that doesn't contribute to much to a witch that can kill you with her powers if she wanted to. And Grandpa Max pretty much stays the same, but we love Grandpa Max. He's cool. I think what really stood out to me as a kid, and even now, about this show is that, like many of the classic shows, it wasn't afraid to tell stories that were serious, such as depression and self-worth. When the show started, it seemed that Gwen felt unsure of herself. She didn't feel as special as Ben because she wasn't the holder of the most powerful weapon in the universe. But she still supports Ben 100% even when she feels like she isn't as special. Speaking of the main character himself, Ben Tennyson, this kid has been through a lot. His whole life changed once the Omnitrix chose him. From that day forward, he has had the responsibility of saving the people, something he didn't ask for. He never wanted this power. It chose him. 
Ben Tennyson has saved the world again and again and again. I don't think it's ever gotten to his head, instead I think it's the opposite. Ben knows that he is the only one who can protect his universe, and that's gotta be pretty fucking stressful. I think that's why he wanted a normal life, to get away from saving the world and instead focusing on saving the parts of him that haven't gotten their chance to shine since Ben has been too busy saving the galaxy. Can we pause from this heartfelt message real quick? While doing research for this video, I realized why Ben 10 reminded me so much of Spider-Man. It's because the same actor that did this... Finally off to Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Well, gotta go. Hey, good luck, Willy. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Also voiced Ben 10. Yeah, it's hero time! <laughs> God, I just love this show so goddamn much. I thought you guys should know that. If you haven't seen this masterclass of a show, I highly recommend it. It brings me a lot of joy, and I hope it brings you that joy as well. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all.